Howdy folks, welcome to another fun tutorial. Today let's learn how to create these really cool isometric phone and app layout designs. As always let's prepare our workspace by changing the background color of our slide. Today I'll be using this nice soothing tan color. Having done that, let's begin creating our phone. Draw a rounded rectangle roughly in the shape of a phone and adjust the edges. In the shapes give this a nice dark color and a light grey outline. Then duplicate this and give it a slightly lesser darker color and adjust it inside the phone and this will make our bezels resize it to fit properly once again create a third rounded rectangle and this time fill it with an off-white color so now we have three different layers on our phone again resize this to fit inside the bezels And you can use the align tools to center align and middle align them. Having done that, draw a fourth rounded rectangle and make it completely rounded at the edges. Center align it. Select your white rectangle and then the blue one. Go to merge shapes and subtract. So now we have a rough shape for our phone. Just to make it look a little better, I'll add some icons. And resize them to fit into the form. Having created the basic body for our phone, let's fill it up with some content. That's your menu tab for the app inside the phone and you can also add a logo. Then let's draw a rectangle inside the phone. This is where our content will come in. You can remove the shape outline and add a little text at the bottom. So I'll add a contact us button here. Adjust the font and its color, adjust the size of the button and place it in the center. For convenience sake you can also group the two back rectangles, the dark ones. Let's fill our blue box with some content. For this I'll be using the picture fill. You can go to insert picture, stock images and choose any of these hundreds of images available on PowerPoint. So I'll just use any random image here. Insert it. Now let's make at least four copies of this phone. Select everything. Control C, Control V and make these copies. You can resize your phone by selecting all of this. You can group it, make it smaller and then ungroup it. There we go. Let's change the images in the rest of the phones. You can also adjust the spacing of the image by clicking on it going to picture format, clicking on crop and then dragging the picture around. And there we've created our four basic phone shapes. Now let's create our first isometric layout. Let's create a new slide and copy the first three phones over. In the second and third phone delete the backgrounds. And then let's group each phone together. 
So make sure all the elements of each individual layout are grouped. Then select all your layouts and go to 3D Rotation. Select Isometric Top. Now let's move these out of the way. Select our main phone. Go to 3D Format. Change the depth color to a slightly lighter gray and add the width of up to 15. Having done that, select the material and go to metal. And the lighting is fine as 3 point. So what this does is, it gives it a slightly metallic look. Now sometimes certain elements of yours will develop an outline when you give it a 3D depth effect. So just click on that element and remove the depth. Click away and the outline disappears. Select all three shapes and go to shadow and give it a bottom left shadow. Increase the size by a couple of percent and increase the blur by a lot. So this creates a diffused shadow. You can even increase the transparency a bit. Then let's adjust the placement of our layouts. You can move this to the center and the middle of the slide and adjust the other layouts around it. Make sure your center phone is in the front. So right click and bring to front. Then duplicate this slide and go back to the original slide. Select all the layouts. Go to arrange, align center and align middle. So now the side layouts are hidden behind this phone. In your second layout, add the morph transition. Now let's take a look. And it's that simple to create this beautiful phone layout. Let's get started with layout number two. For layout number two, let's duplicate this slide once again. Zoom out a little bit and move these layouts to the sides and the center phone drag it slightly down. Now let's select these two layouts from the previous slide, bring them back here. Just roughly place them here and let's bring our fourth layout as well. Delete the background from this and give it the same treatment as the previous layouts. Having done that, add this to the top. Select all of the layouts on your slide and align them to center and also distribute them vertically. So that makes them all equidistant from each other. Now the top three layouts, select them, go to animations and give it the float in animation. Let's right click in the animation pane, start with previous and just adjust the delays a little bit. Now let's have a preview. You can also change the order of the animation for these layouts to appear. So if you want the bottom layout to appear first, drag it to the top, then the second, and then the third, and then readjust your delays. Let's take another look. 
and there we have it. And you can add your text to the left and the right of this layout. Now let's check out layout number 3. Let's add a new slide and copy three fonts from our top. Bring them here. Make sure each individual font is grouped. Select all your phones and let's go to 3D rotation. And this time let's select isometric left down. Once again, let's go to 3D format and give it a depth. Material to metal. Lighting to three point. But as you can see, the lighting is not visible on the corners over here. So change the lighting angle to say about 180. And there we have our metallic effect back. Adjust the alignment of all your objects. Bring to front. Bring to front. And let's add some animation to these. So we'll use the fly in animation from bottom right. Let's go to the animation pane. Increase the duration of the animation to two seconds. Right click, start with previous. Then right click again, add in effect options, give it a smooth end. I've given it a 1.28 second smooth end. Then adjust the delays and let's see where that gets us. Not too bad. As you can see these outlines have appeared again. So all you need to do is click on this particular shape and remove its depth. There we go. And for our final layout we'll be using all the four fonts we've created. So let's bring them all down here to a new slide. Make sure they're all grouped individually. And we'll be adding all the same effects that we used on this phone and on this phone to this. So I'll quickly do that and then I'll tell you about the third effect. And for our final phone, we'll select the 3D rotation of ISO right up. So this becomes an opposite of this one. And we add the same depth to it of 15. A depth color. Material to metal. And the lighting angle this time will change to 110. Now all we need to do is align our phones into the layout. To help with alignment, you can actually create a little depth in the background by drawing a triangle, stretching it across from side to side, taking the yellow slider to the left, remove shape outline, fill the shape with the same tan color to more colors and slightly make it darker. This will help you align your phones. And now all that remains is to add some animation to this. So I'm adding the same fly in animation with two second duration. Start with previous. Adjust all the various delays for each and in effect options I'll change the direction from where each phone flies in from. Let's take a look 
and there's plenty of space for you to add text on the left and right corners. And that's how you can create these really cool isometric phone mockups. Let's take one final look at everything we've created. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. See you next time.